What's going on, everybody? Mr. Long coming back at you. And um, I'm still is super excited about what we did a um, little over a week ago with our components of fitness. And just a quick heads up, a um, little bit of a preview. We're going to go back to those components of fitness probably in the next week or two, right before our break for um, the, the next holiday season. All right, so for our winter break, we're gonna get back to our components of fitness with some cool activities that I think you all will enjoy. But this week, I want to update um, students and families about what we're working on. We are going back to our body systems. Earlier in the year, we worked on our muscular system, and now we're um, discovering our skeletal system, learning a little bit more about our bones. So. Be sure to ask your children about what we've learned so far about the human skeleton and all the fascinating things about our bones. One of the activities that we're working on um, is something that should have come in the mail. There are some students that have reported that we have not gotten this yet in the mail, so be on the lookout. It's coming in a um, envelope that looks something like this that has about seven sheets of paper in there and some brads to put it all together. So we're trying to put together our human skeleton, which is going well so far. Um, again, some students have said that they haven't yet seen it in the mail. We've got some students out of state, so it happens. We've got plans in place for those students that cannot work on this skeleton yet. There's lots of online activities. We've got um, games that we can play, videos to explore, all sorts of cool stuff. So um, they're not just sitting there twiddling their fingers and their thumbs and just uh, kind of bored. There's lots that we can do to explore the skeleton. Um, but um, we're really excited about this. This has been a fun activity so far. Um, one thing that I'm noticing is tripping up some people, including myself, is the connection here where we've got our humerus, which is our upper arm bone that connects over here with our clavicle and shoulder. So we've got the humerus up here, okay? And I'm noticing that where the words are, that's where it connects to our clavicle. But then down here, the next connection, which is kind of confusing, and I even messed up this morning, is making sure where the radius and ulna go, which way is which. So, um, after reviewing the skeleton again myself, um, it's, I, I'm noticing that the radius is the outside bone, okay? So, it will go on the outside edge, and the ulna is on the inside. So, then what you're left with, when you're going to go to connect your hand, down here where the words say either left or right arm, and you've got that hole, that's where your hand will connect. Okay, or I should say your carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. All right, so um, sorry about that confusion. Man, with over 200, 206 bones, that's crazy. That's a lot to keep track of. So um, parents, families, we are not worried about memorizing all 206 bones. We're just trying to figure out kind of the basic anatomy of our skeleton and start reviewing some of the big kind of major um, bones in our body. So that's where we're at. It's really fun and exciting. We're having a great time. And like I said, if your student or if your child has not yet gotten this in the mail or they just can't work on it yet, um, don't worry about it. We're giving students lots of other opportunities to learn about the skeleton during class time. One final note, some students were asking if they can get help from you. Absolutely. All right. The more, the more help they can get, um, the more um, you can be involved in their learning. I always think that is so cool. So please don't be afraid to get in there and, uh, and work on that skeleton with your child. Um, sometimes putting the brads in is a little bit tricky. So some students were asking if they could tape it together or glue it together. Absolutely. Um, okay. Well, again, if you have any questions, concerns, feedback, if you want to come and join us, 
please don't hesitate to come right in. Um, and if you need to reach me, um, your child could probably give you my email address and you can reach me through that way. All right. Thanks so much as always. And uh, hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully you had a nice few days off and I'll catch you guys soon. All right. Take care.